Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is Case Closed by Bryce Bergman. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com or whatever it's called because I'm changing the name soon, but the link will work still below. Uh, cardmagiccourse.com is an online course, hundreds of videos, live sessions every week for any level, uh, cards and more, coins, cups and balls, um, my lectures on there, loads and loads of stuff, so check out cardmagiccourse.com. Okay, so I've had this a while, um, Bryce sent me this, thank you Bryce, from Masterpiece Productions, and... He's a very young person, isn't he? So it's great to see. Uh, I did the review of, um, of Max Cube, and it's great to see creators. That, that, that there are a lot, there's quite a lot of young creators here, but creators coming and really thinking about stuff, like Maxim with the, with the Max Cube and Bryce here. I like these effects. I've never really looked at them. The effect is you, you show a deck of cards, you do something very quickly, it turns back into the box. So with this one, the main effect is, I think there's three different effects here really, but you show a deck of cards, you take your deck of cards out of the box, put the box in your pocket, the deck changes back into the box in your hand, and then you take the cards out again. So it's like a deja vu thing. You put the box in your pocket and boom, that deck of cards is turned back into the box and you take the cards out again. It's like a little skip in time, a jolt, a, a, a kind of glitch in time, which I really, really like that idea. It's not the first time I've seen this, but I haven't really played with it. And when I got this, I thought it looked great in the trailer. Uh, I got it and looked at it and went, oh, right, okay. And again, people that know these sort of effects will maybe be used to this, but I thought, that's not gonna, I'm not gonna get away with this, am I? I learned it, played with it, became comfortable with it, which I really enjoyed the process, actually. It was it's easy, but it was challenging enough for me. You've got to get comfortable with this, this gimmick. And by the time you get comfortable with it, you, it does feel like you've got it. You, you don't feel scared or nervous or, or that thing where you very quickly get over that thing of, am I going to get, get away with this? Which you will feel at the beginning. I showed it to a couple of people who, who know a bit, who've seen a bit, and it got every one of them. And it was a really lovely feeling because I was practicing it in front of the, my phone as a camera. And, uh, and just going, this, surely that, I couldn't, you know that thing is once you see it, once you know how it's done, you can't unsee how it's done. But every single person was like, that looks great. So I was really pleased with that. I've been carrying this around a lot and playing with a lot. It's a very satisfying move. It requires one, well, not even a move. It's not a slight really, but one thing that you do, which will enable you to do a couple of things. You can take the deck out of the box, put the box in your pack, on your pocket and then decks turn back into the box again you're just, you're just kind of spreading the cards and it turns into the box and you take them out again which is my favorite thing again this glitch thing or you can have a you can have the uh deck here and the deck turns into a box and then the deck is in your pocket and there's this lovely mo sort of misdirection moment where he kind of goes look we've got the box here um but the deck is now in the pocket and he looks down here and the decks turn into the box and then the decks in the pocket so it's a tra it's a um What's the word? I was going to say transition. Um, <laughs> transposition. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I can tell it's been a while since I've done a review. Um, transposition, which is great. And then there's an another similar thing uh, where he, you show the box and then the box turns into a deck and you fan the card. So really nice things. And I think I like these sort of things. They're effects that pepper your, your uh, um, existing materials. So... The fact you do this on the way to a trick, that you can then take the cards out and go straight into your routine. And he's got a couple of things, uh, I think it's okay to say you can sort of cop this away, you can get it away quite easily. Because you've got that thing of, whoa, that's just happened. You've got that lovely moment of tech, sort of them being really impressed or confused and then the relaxation of that to get, using that as misdirection to get rid of what you get rid of. So you can end clean with this and I think quite easily and it's actually got a routine where you can justify going to the pocket to get the deck out which gets rid of what you have to get rid of but for me I don't think you need it I think you can especially with the first routine this sort of deja vu thing of get the cards out put them on the table and then just put the deck away and you're clean so I I really like this and the fact that I'm going to be totally honest when I started to download and saw how young he was that horrible prejudice in me that us old idiots have of going well oh, blimey he's young isn't he um, and then really pleased that when I watched this, I thought, this is actually really good. And I think to be that age and to be thinking like this, and he has put a lot of work into this and he can do it very well. And he's crediting as well, which is always lovely to see. You know, he credits Paul Harris 
um, for the gimmick. Um, he credits Little Florence for, I mean, so it's, so that was really nice to see. It's taught well, he teaches, you know, it doesn't go on for hours. He sort of gives you the nuts and bolts. This is what you can do with it. Um, and I really like it. I like the cheekiness of it. I like doing it. It feels nice to do and it impresses people. And it, like I said, it's like you can add it to your existing stuff to just give people those moments of, oh, that was weird, before you go into the routine. Um, not much more to say about it. Is it easy? I think it is easy. Just get comfortable with it. I think you're going to want to be able to handle the deck of cards. Uh, angles aren't really a problem, really. I think I'd be happily doing this in a normal kind of strolling environment. I would do it on stage as well. I think to, to do it on stage, it's visual enough to for that for the cards to turn back into the box. Uh, I would do it on stage on again on the way to a routine. And I've, I've nothing really bad to say about this. I think it's really clever, uh, some good thinking, and a lovely little gimmick. So that's Case Closed by Bryce Bergman, and thanks for sending it to me. Do use the links below if you want to purchase this. It's only like twenty dollars, I think. Don't quote me on that. It might not be. <laughs> I'm shocking. Everybody says, tell us how much it is. I don't know. Just hit the link and have a look and then you can make a decision. Uh, but I think you'll really enjoy it. I, I suppose one thing is that it's, it might not last forever. Saying that, I've played with this a lot and it has. But if you're not careful, you can just store this in a normal card box. And actually, it's handy. I put this in a card box without the cards because um, a lot of the routines you'll need will sometimes use the gimmicks in two uh, one empty deck and one full deck and things like that. So you just stick it in the cardboard. So I've been it's been in my bag for weeks now, carrying this around, and it's it's totally fine. So thanks very much. Uh, do like and subscribe. Check out cardmagiccourse.com uh, or click the link below, whatever it's going to be called by the time you watch this. Any questions about this or anything else, put them in the comments, and I will answer them live on a Thursday session. I go live stream every Thursday, unless I've got gigs and stuff, which I'll put it on the community uh, if I have and that's at five UK time. So do come and join us for that. It's a good laugh and I'll answer any questions you want because I'll talk about anything, as you may have guessed. Um, and that's my cue to shut up. Have a great one, take care. See you later, bye.